How's it going? It's January 2010, I'm in South Australia. And wow, what a week. It's uh, been out watching the Tour Down Under, and the week before that I was taking out some of the Tour Down Under teams. Took out a Spanish team, Casa España, and the French team, AG2R, and the Italian team, Liquigas. It was good training, you know, I come down here not in much shape, not much form. And uh, three days training with, you know, world-class Tour de France riders um, <laughs> gets you in shape, man, full on. It was great, it was great. And it was just a reminder that if you want something in life, you've got to put the hard work in. You know, these riders, man, they're like doing up to 35,000 kilometres a year. They're riding 11 months of the year. They're racing maybe, you know... <sighs> You know, anywhere between 60 to 100 races per year and they're just on the bike you know average probably three to four hours a day and it's um it's a lot of hard work it's the whole lifestyle thing you know they get the massage they get the good carbohydrates in they get plenty of water they get the, the pharmaceutical assistance blah 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 so it's just reminding you know you, you can do anything in life really if you, if you put the hard work in you got the belief and you you know Surround yourself with people who uh, expect better of you, you know, because we always raise the expectations of our peer group. So I hanged out with Tour de France riders, you know, that week, and <laughs> I'm not a Tour de France rider by any shot. Uh, I never will be. But it's like, you know, it, it brings out that potential in you, you know. So uh, that, that's my... It's Schumacher just drove past. <laughs> Incredible. Sports car. <laughs> a sports car. It's like it's got two seats, powerful motor. <laughs> Big deal, man. It's, that's not sporty. <laughs> it should be called a sedentary car or something, or an uneconomical car, or non functional car. Anyways, so surround yourself with people who are getting the results you desire. Surround yourself with people who hold you to a higher standard. Surround yourself with people, you know, who keep you to your word and, uh, you know, they won't let you. Bullshit yourself. They'll hold it. Hey, hey, man. You know, you said this and you're doing that. What's up with that, man? You know, you're gonna follow through with your goals. Are you gonna make up some more excuses? You know, you're gonna stick with your reasons, or are you gonna fold to the excuses of everyone else? You know, oh, you know, no, I can't do that. Like, you know, people are too dumb, or I'm not smart enough, or don't have the money, or this is not the right time for that, or this is the wrong country, or it's like whatever, man. Whatever excuses you want to. You know, BS yourself with, you know, ask yourself the question, where do I want to go, where, I, where am I now, and what's in the way? What do I have to do to bridge the gap? What do I have to do to smash through this little wall that's uh, holding me up? And that wall might be your lack of self-belief, it might be you're eating a high-fat diet and you've got no energy because you're starving yourself of carbohydrates. It could be, you know, you got cholesterol issues and you're going to have a heart attack and things like that so you can't do exercise because you've got coronary disease. Where do you want to go? Where are you now? And what are you prepared to do to get to where you want to go? To bridge the gap, yeah? To bridge the gap. To get through that wall, whatever it is, whatever analogy you want to use. What are you going to do? What are you prepared to give up and what are you prepared to add into your life? Because we never give something up. Whenever we walk away from something, it's always a good idea to put something in place, yeah? And sometimes we don't even have to do that because a, a void, a vacuum, the, the void creates a vacuum and that just fills our life up. You know, if you get rid of, you know, animal products, you get introduced to vegan foods. If you give up cooked vegan food, you get introduced to raw vegan foods. You know what I mean? If you give up, you know, getting your sugars from high fructose, corn syrup, multi, you know, genetically modified multidextrin, you go to bananas, you go to mangoes, you go to grapes, figs, raisins, sultanas, you know, durian, on and on and on and on and on. You'll try all those beautiful fruits. So that's an analogy. Give it up, walk away from it, and be pay attention to the void that's created and the vacuum process that just sucks in more magic into your life, you know. <laughs> Get rid of the partner you're not in love with, man. Get rid of the person who's just just dragging along. Do yourself a favor. You're not doing anybody a favor. You know, by being in a relationship where you can't even talk about stuff. If you can't talk to your partner about stuff, you don't have a relationship, man. It's over, you know. Someone's got to have the courage to step up and say, hey, we're probably better off as friends, man. This this, this gig ain't working. Let's, let's move on, yeah? You know. 
how many people do you know who stay in relationships for financial reasons, for the kids, for peer, you know, group, whatever, for social re reasons, for family, like their, their parents go, oh, you can't be divorced, it's like you're... You're 50 years old, or you're 25 years old, you can't get divorced now, it's too early, it's too late, you know. So, <laughs> only listen to people getting the results you desire, man. Don't listen to me if you want to be Schumacher, go ask Schumacher. If you want to be healthy, if you want to get really, 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 really fit and feel great, I've got some tips for you, man, as simple as that. Why? Because I'm, I'm a living example, man, I'm walking my talk, I'm talking my walk, I'm saying what I mean, and I mean what I say, and those that matter do not mind and those that mind do not matter okay enough from the Duran rider i'll see you next time ciao live your life purpose find what your purpose is and a good way to do that is to remove the distractions so the intensity of not knowing what your deepest purpose is just drives you to go i've got to find something man and I, I will do it and i must do it it's not a shoot or whatever, it's like a must. I must find my life purpose. So remove all the distractions, your comforts, you know, do what I did. I slept naked in the jungle on a boulder in a river and just, you know, or another time I fasted under a waterfall, you know, and you got no distractions, no comforts, just there, you naked on the earth and you become so, <laughs> so aware of the intensity that you do not know what your deepest purpose is. So for me, People are, what's your deepest purpose, doing, Ryder? My deepest purpose is helping people help themselves get healthy, and at the same time, we save the animals and the planet and humanity itself. That's my deepest purpose. That's why I can just rant and rave 24-7, 365. That's why I get banned from forums, because I refuse to lie. I refuse to say what's convenient. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to speak the truth. I don't care what anyone else says, man. Expect the truth from Duran Rider, man. Always will say it, and I always will continue to say it, man. When it comes to your health, I ain't going to BS you, man. I'm going to tell you straight out how it is. I'm going to tell you what you need to know. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear, man. So if I offend you, great. It means you're listening. If you're getting offended, you're listening. And if you're not getting offended, you're probably <laughs> on the right path as it is. All right. I'll see you in the road, man. Live your passion today.